So this is one of the very important verses of Bhagavad Gita. And this Bhagavad, this verse also uh, helps us understand that Krishna has advised us to read Bhagavatam also. Hmm. Now here in this uh, Bhagavad Gita, Bhagavad Gita is the instructions of Lord Krishna to Arjuna. Bhagavad Gita это uh, наставление Господа Кришны Арджуне. Hmm. But here Krishna is saying, Janma karma cha may divyam. Но здесь Кришна говорит, Janma karma cha may divyam. My, you have, Arjuna, you have to know about my birth, my activities, my pastimes. Арджуна, ты должен знать о моем рождении, о моих деяниях, о моих играх. That they are transcendental. Что они трансцендентны. So how will you know? Hmm. Bhagavad Gita, in the Bhagavad Gita, there is no mention of Krishna's birth. There is, there is no mention of Krishna's pastimes. There is no mention of any other, only it's an instruction. So we can understand that Krishna himself is saying, my birth, my activities are mentioned in Bhagavatam. And if you hear Srimad Bhagavatam, we will attain perfection very easily. <coughs> when Lord Krishna, he was uh, departing for the spiritual world, after he annihilated all the uh, Yadu dynasty, before he left, uh, he gave some instructions to Uddhava. <coughs> and after hearing the instructions from Uddhava, after hearing Uddhava, after hearing the instructions of Lord Krishna, he requested Krishna. That my dear Lord Krishna, please don't go. I understand that you have completed your activities here and all your uh, desire, all your desires, uh, desire or uh, the need for coming here is fulfilled and now you wish to go back. But my request to you is that you please stay here. Because as soon as you leave, the Kali will take its effect. It is because of your presence that, that although it is Kali Yuga going on, but Kali is not able to show its influence. So because of your presence here in this world, the Kali Yuga will be, the effect of Kali will be nullified. But Lord Krishna said, no Uddhava, I have to go back. But then <coughs> Lord uh, Uddhava said, what is the solution? Please help all these conditional living entities who are going to appear in this age of Kali. He said, there is one, I will give you a solution. And Sutta Gosami mentions that Kalao Nashtam Rishadesha Pura Narko Adunoditaha. Krishna Sodhama Pagate Dharma Gyana Adibisa. When Krishna Lord Krishna left for his own abode, at that time, the sun like Bhagavatam appeared. For delivering the conditioned souls. From the cycle of birth and death. <coughs> we can see from the examples of Maharaj Parikshit. How this is very true. This is one of my favorite paintings and I am seeing it in a big, large size. In Omks I spoke on seven days on this subject matter. 
они говорили семь дней uh, на эти темы. How the life and activities of Maharaj Parikshit. Uh, жизнь и деяния Махараджа Парикшита. So I'm getting the darshan of that assembly here. И, uh, oh, you, you were speaking for seven days. Yes, I was speaking for seven days. А, в течение семи дней uh, я говорил на эту тему uh, жизнь и деяния Махараджа Парикшита. In Omks. Hmm? In Omks I was speaking. I'm coming from Omks. И вот теперь у меня есть такой чудесный даршин. And I'm getting prasad. И я получаю прасад. I'm getting a chance to hear, see that assembly in big size. Я получаю возможность видеть это общество в большом таком размере. This pastime is very very close to my heart. Это игра очень близка моему сердцу. It's very, we get a lot of inspiration from this, this pastimes. Из Maharaj Parikshit was the emperor of the whole world. Maharaj Parikshit was the emperor of the whole world. And he was, uh, he was not only the emperor of the whole world, but he was also a great devotee of the Lord. Он был не просто императором всего мира, но также он был величайшим верным Господа. In fact, Sutta Goswami says that he was a Mahabhagavat. По сути, Сута Госвами говорит, что Махараджа Парикшит был Махабхагаватой. Lord, when Ashwatthama, he sent six Brahmastras, five to kill the Pandavas and one to kill Parikshit, who was in the womb of his mother. И Ashwatthama послал шесть Брахмастр, пять, чтобы убить Пандавов, и одну, чтобы убить Махараджа Парикшита, который в то время находился в лоне своей матери. When the Brahmastras came, the Pandavas, they picked up their weapon and they wanted to counteract that Brahmastras, but they had no time. So Lord Krishna, with help of a Sudarshan Chakra, he nullified this effect of the Brahmastras. And while Lord Krishna was... Hmm? And while Lord Krishna, while Lord Krishna was sitting on his chariot, Uttara came running, the mother of Parikshit. She came running and she started begging to Krishna, Oh Krishna, please save me, please save my son. И когда Господь Кришна сидел на колеснице, то к нему подбежала Уттара, мать Парикшита Махараджа, и взмолилась, пожалуйста, спаси моего сына. So Krishna immediately entered the womb of Uttara and protected Maharaj Parikshit. И тогда Кришна тотчас же вошел во члево Уттары и защитил Махараджа Парикшита. And Krishna was using, normally Krishna uses Sudarshan Chakra to nullify anything in the, to to destroy anything in the world. И обычно для того, чтобы уничтожить что бы то ни было в этом мире, Кришна использует свою Sudarshan Chakra. But here you are, he was using club and and Sudarshan both. Но здесь он использовал одновременно как палец, так и сударшина чакра. With his four hands, he was one in one hand he was holding the sudarshan and he was circumambulating Parikshit in the womb of the, his mother. В одной руке он держал сударшина чакру, а другой он палецей защищал Махараджа Парикшита, который находился в члене. Parikshit saw that some great, some personality is is taking protecting me. He was only thumb high. This was the height of Krishna in the in the Lord Krishna in the womb of his his mother. Thumb high. Krishna, когда он вошел в очлево утре, был размера как большой палец. And Parikshit, and Parikshit saw the little Parikshit. He saw that Krishna was Krishna's eyes were red, red in anger. И маленький Парикшит увидел, что глаза Кришны, они стали красными от гнева. Кришна was saying, how dare someone can touch my devotee? Кришна говорил, как кто-то осмелился прикоснуться к моему преданному? Not even Brahmastra can destroy my devotee. Даже Брахмастра не может уничтожить моего преданного. So Krishna was protecting Parikshit. И так Кришна защищал Парикшита. That Parikshit, once he 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 also he he was such a powerful king that he had the divine qualities of so many great great people. И Парикшит был настолько совершенным царем, у него были качества многих великих личностей. He was he had the qualities of this Yudhishthir Maharaj, Lord Krishna himself, 
and all the uh, all the great rishis of the world like uh, and and the kings of the world all their divine qualities which are mentioned in the scriptures parikshit had them He he has he had the divine qualities of so many great personalities. И Парикшит Махарадж обладал возвышенными качествами всевозможных великих личностей, которые только жили в этом мире. And he was such a powerful personality that he was even able to chastise Kali Yuga. И он был настолько совершенной личностью, что он мог даже отчитать и наказать Kali Yuga. Kali Yuga fell at his feet and was begging begging mercy. So Parikshit gave him five places to stay. The places where gambling takes place, place where intoxication takes place, place where uh, illicit activities takes place, place where no meat eating takes place. Hmm? And plus the fifth place given to him was place where gold is there. И Махараджа Парикшит дал для созрения века Халичи пять мест, в которых он может находиться, где есть интоксикации, мясоедение, незаконные половые отношения, азартные игры. И также он дал еще одно место, это где есть золото. Парикшит был такой мощный персонаж, что Although he gave Kali Yuga these four five places, but in his kingdom, Kali Yuga still had no place. He ruled his kingdom so nicely. И Махараджа Парикшит был настолько идеальным царем, что и он настолько идеальным образом правил своим государством, что хотя он выделил веку Кали эти четыре места, но в его царстве век Кали не не мог нигде укорениться, потому что этих пяти мест просто не было в его царстве. So that great personality, Maharaj Parikshit, once he went to the forest. <coughs> he was very thirsty, he was very angry. Oh, hungry. <coughs> and because of which he was very disturbed. And he... he <coughs> he 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 was in a forest and uh, so he went to uh, m- uh, there was an ashram nearby of shamik rishi so he went there to get some food or some th- to uh, satisfy his thirst и там рядышком находился ашрам шамнаки риши и махараджа парикшит смученный голодом и жаждой отправился в этот ашрам для того чтобы попросить какой-то воды and shamik rishi was sitting there in meditation mm. uh, sh- 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 Yes, he was sitting in meditation. And Maharaj Parishit thought that I am king, I am his protector, I am here. Hmm? At least I don't expect a big, uh, big grand welcome, but at least I, I want some water to drink. Maharaj Parishit thought that I am his king, I am here, I came to his home. И я, может быть, не ожидаю какого-то великого приема, но я ожидаю, что мне дадут хотя бы немного воды, чтобы попить, а он просто сидит вот так в медитации. But he saw that he is, there is no welcome at all. И Махараджа Парикшит увидел, что его вообще никак не приветствуют. She got a bit upset. И он слегка расстроился. And he took a dead snake and put on that fish's neck. И он взял мертвую змею, которая валялась там, и and he left. Now, he had a son called as Shringi. And Shringi's friend saw this whole thing. And he came and told Shringi that Shringi, your father has been offended. By Maharaj Parikshit, you, your fa- Maharaj Parikshit offended your father. Итак, друг Шрингу пришел к нему и сказал, рассказал обо всем, что произошло, и сказал, Махараджа Парикшит оскорбил твоего отца. And Maharaj, and this Shringi, when he heard this, he started he started giving bad words to Parikshit. И когда Шринги услышал об этом, то он 
начал плохо очень отзываться о Махараджи Барик, что начал его ругать. He said, what does this king think of himself? Он сказал, что этот царь о себе думает? Lord Krishna has departed, Arjuna has departed, so this dogs, they will now they want to dine with the master, they want to eat with my father, this dog, he should, his place is outside the house, not inside the house. Он сказал, да, Арджуна ушел, и Господь Кришна ушел, и теперь так происходит, что этот царь, которому по сути место просто собаки у дома, он хочет садиться за один стол вместе с моим, с моим отцом. He said that their duty is to protect, protect us, serve us, and now, but now he is demanding that he should come inside and we should give him food. Он сказал, обязанность этих царей в том, чтобы служить нам и защищать нас. А теперь он требует, чтобы мы пришли и еще и давали ему пищу, чтобы он, он, что он пришел к нам, и мы должны давать ему пищу. Then he said to himself, what if that Krishna and Lord Krishna has gone, Arjuna has departed, Pandavas are gone, but we Brahmanas are still there and I will curse him. Он сказал, хорошо, допустим, Арджуна ушел, Кришна ушел, Пандавы ушли, но мы, Браманы, все еще здесь, и я прокляну его. He took out the little water from the river Kush Kaushika and he said that may this Pariksha dine seven days by the bite of a snake bird. The Maharaj Parikshit, he was a devotee of the Lord. So he committed a mistake and he immediately realized it. Sometimes when we are extremely hungry, sometimes when we are extremely thirsty, then our, our mind is upset, so we might behave in a certain way. So Parikshit Maharaj, he, he realized that and I mean he realized that, realized that what I have I done? I have, of, I have offended a Rishi, Sadhu. I never did that in my life. И Махараджа Парикша, конечно же, тот же осознал, что я наделал. Я оскорбил Саду, Риши. Я никогда в жизни такого не делал. And immediately folded his hands and requested the Lord, Oh Lord, what have I done? I have committed a big offense. So let everything, all the opulence in my life, let everything be destroyed, and let me live a simple life. И он тотчас же сложил ладони и взмолился, «О мой Господь, я совершил ужасное оскорбление, пожалуйста, пусть все достояния, которые есть у меня в жизни, будут уничтожены, и пусть я буду жить простой жизнью». I think that because of this position of a king, which is a big post, I have, I have, I have become puffed up and I offended a sadhu. So let Krishna, oh Krishna, please see that all my opulence, all my uh, uh, post position, let everything go away. Uh, да, похоже, это из-за положения царя, в котором я находился, я возгордился. So, и... Да, и поэтому пусть все богатство, которое есть, и все достояния, пусть они все будут уничтожены. And <coughs> Parishit Maharaj, when he was praying in this way, he was crying, he was, he was waiting for some arrangement where he can become free from this offense. So this is what one has to do when one commits a mistake or one commits offense, he should beg for forgiveness from the Supreme Lord and also from the devotee. Мы должны делать, когда мы невольно оскорб... когда мы оскорбляем, мы должны тотчас же просить прощения у Верховного Господа and from the devotees. Yes. И также у преданного, которого мы оскорбили. So, when this was happening, uh, this, this Shringi, he went to his father and he narrated the whole thing to him. Когда это произошло, то Шринги отправился к своему отцу и передал ему все, что произошло. And his father chastised him, saying that we will be responsible for creating a havoc in this whole of universe, whole of the world. And the father read to him, and said, "Now we will be responsible 
за то, что трагедия произойдет во всем этом мире, во всей вселенной. Because because of the great king like Maharaj Parikshit, there are there are no problems in the society. The, we are able to peacefully perform our devotional service because the king like Maharaj Parikshit is there. Именно благодаря тому, что на земле присутствует такой царь как Махараджа Парикшит, у нас есть возможность беспрепятственно заниматься преданным служением Господу. If Maharaj Parikshit dies and there is no proper king, then there will be so many thieves and there will be so many problems in society. And which, which will give rise to troubles for uh, women and children. So, ma- <coughs> so now he even the uh, the Rishi understood that that was not a big offense. The dead snake. What will that? He told that what will dead snake do to me? Dead snake is not going to bite me. И этот саду он понял, что ну на самом деле это даже не было таким большим оскорблением, потому что ну подумаешь мертвая змея, что она может мне сделать? Она меня даже не укусит. So he realized the, what a big offense he has committed. So that Rishi, Shamik Rishi, started praying to Krishna to please forgive his son. И так таким образом Шамик Риши также решил, что он совершил оскорбление в свою очередь. И он также взмолился о том, чтобы его сын был прощен. И он отправил его ученика Гаур Мук, чтобы дать ему послание к Махараджу Парикшит. У тебя только 7 дней есть с тобой. Пожалуйста, делай все, что ты можешь, чтобы улучшить твою жизнь. И Шами Кариши тогда отправил своего ученика. Его ученик был Гаур Мук. Гаур Мук. И просил передать, дорогой Махараджу Парикшит, у тебя, прости меня, пожалуйста, и у тебя осталось только семь дней, пожалуйста, сделай в эти семь дней все, что нужно для того, чтобы довести твою жизнь до совершенства. And when Gormuk reached there and he informed Parikshit that, sir, you have only seven days, and our master has begged forgiveness at your lotus feet, and he has requested you to please forgive his son Shringi. И тогда этот мальчик отправился к Махараджа Парикшиту и сказал, дорогой Махараджа Парикшит, наш духовный учитель передал тебе, что у тебя осталось э, жить, тебе осталось жить только семь дней, и он молит тебя э, о том, чтобы ты простил его сына Шринги. Махараджа Парикшит был очень pleased to hear this thing. Махараджа Парикшит пришел в огромную, очень обрадовался, когда услышал об этом. Although he was very powerful enough to contract this course of Shringi, but he accepted this as the will of the Supreme Lord. And he gave his kingdom to his son Janmejaya. He gave his kingdom to He gave up uh, all his opulent clothing and wore a dress of a sadhu. And he started walking on the bank of Ganges. Hmm? This is and where this is where he came on the bank of Ganges. <coughs> and as soon as 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 Maharaj Parishit was walking, hmm, he was the emperor of the whole world and all the, all over the universe the great demigods and all the great sages, they used to always keep a watch on what is happening on the earth. Yes, demigods and uh, so many other sages in the different uh, parts of the world. So when they, when they heard that Maharaj Parikshit is going to die in seven days. They all came to, to witness what is going to happen now. How is Krishna going to protect him? Krishna protected him at the time of his birth. Now he is going to die. What is going to happen? Let's go and see. Кришна защитил его в момент его рождения, еще до его рождения. 
А как же он защитит его сейчас, когда ему суждено умереть через 7 дней? Посмотрим, что произойдет, как Кришна защитит. All, all great personalities like Veda Vyas, Narada, uh, <coughs> then uh, Vishwamitra, uh, Parshuram and so many other great sages along with their disciples, they all came to, to witness uh, what is going to happen. И столько великих личностей, Веда Vyas, Narada, Vasudeva, all these things. It's okay. Они отправились к этому месту для того, чтобы посмотреть, что же произойдет. And Maharaj Parikshit reached the banks of the Ganges and he saw all these great rishis coming, appearing in front of, in that place and he all started welcoming them. Hmm. And he offered his, offered his dandavats to all of them. And <coughs> Maharaj Parishit uh, made them sit peacefully and then he inquired from them. He, he inquired from them what, which is that activity that one always has to perform and which is that activity one has to perform when only one has only seven days left with him. So they all started discussing all the all the issues, all the, the that issues you can see behind, they all started discussing. Mm. Narada, Vyas, everybody, big, big personalities were there and they all started discussing. Istagosti began. Mm. And <laughs> they all said one thing to Parikshit that till you give up your body, we are not going to go from here. Они единодушно сошлись в следующем. Они сказали Махараджи Парикшиту, пока ты не оставишь свое тело, мы отсюда не уйдем. And you have all our blessings to perfect your life. И у тебя есть все наши благословения для того, чтобы сделать свою жизнь совершенной. But please help me. Parikshit said, but please help me understand what should I do. Парикшит сказал, но пожалуйста, помогите мне понять, что я должен делать. Because of thirst and because of thirst and hunger, uh, I offended a rishi, a sadhu. So I have given up eating and I have given, I am not going to drink anything and I am not going to eat anything till I give up my body. So, <coughs> Maharaj Parikshit, he, um, he was, the, he was requ requesting them and just at that very moment, um, the Maharaj Parishit was in this way was requesting them and just at that very moment the great son of Vedavyas, Shukadeva Goswami came there. As soon as they saw Shukadeva Goswami, all the rishis whose age was in they were thousands of years old. They all stood up in great respect. Shukadeva Goswami had all the symptoms of a Mahabhagavat. In scriptures there are 32 kinds of symptoms of a Mahabhagavat. So this, this sages, they were all uh, qualified sages and they knew what are the symptoms were there and as Shukdev Goswami had all those symptoms, so as soon as they saw Shukdev Goswami, they all stood up in great respect. And all the sages, they were jubilant to see that this is Krishna's arrangement that his dear associate Shukadeva Goswami has come there to, de to deliver Maharaj Parikshit. And they all said, Sadhu, Sadhu! 
Мудрецы увидели, что это Кришна так устроил, что его великий спутник Шукадева Госвами проходил в это время рядом. И все они в восторге закричали «Саду! Саду!». They all were so eager to know what is Krishna going to do with this devotee. And there, is a, there, there was the answer. Shukadeva Goswami walks into that assembly and everybody stood and offers respects to Shukadeva Goswami. And they all request Maharaj Parikshit. Please go and take shelter of Shukadeva Goswami. Krishna has sent him to deliver you. So Maharaj Parishad goes there, he offer, offers his prostrate dandavats, then he worships him and gives him an elevated seat. To, elevated seat. Простирается перед ним Тандавати и затем усаживает его на почетное место и просит его говорить. And he puts forward the same two questions to Shukadeva Goswami, which he put forward to all the rishis. И он задал Шукадеве Госвами те же два вопроса, которые он ранее задал всем этим риши. And Shukadeva Goswami said, Parishit, don't worry. The answer to your questions is Srimad Bhagavatam. И Шукадева Госвами сказал, Махараджа Парикшит, не беспокойся, а ответ на, твой вопро на твои вопросы, это Шриман Бхагаватам. Till your last day, we have seven days with you, so I am going to narrate the Шримада Бхагаватам to you, which I, have, uh, which I have learned from my father. У тебя осталось семь дней, и до последнего дня я буду рассказывать тебе Шримад Бхагаватам, который я услышал от своего отца. And simply by hearing about Krishna, and giving an oral reception to that Bhagavatam, you will perfect your life. So Shukadeva Goswami started, began, started speaking Srimad Bhagavatam. And Maharaj Parishit was hearing day and night. It was not the one hour class or two hour class. It was day and night classes. It was uninterrupted. Mm -hmm. Because he was, Parikshit was about to give up his body. Mm -hmm. He had no other business. He gave up everything. And he had he had to perfect his life, so he was hearing with rapt attention. And on the seventh day, on the seventh day, when he heard the entire Shrimad Bhagavatam from Shukadeva Goswami, he requested his Gurudev. He requested, there is a verse uh, in Bhagavatam 12.6.6. Anujani Himam Brahman Vacham Yashami Adok Sajay Mukta Kama Sayam Cheta Pravesha Visrajami Asun. Maharaj Parishit requested Shukadeva Goswami that my dear Gurudev, by your mercy I heard the transcendental pastimes of the Lord and my heart is completely cleansed from all the contaminations. Please allow me to resign my speech and uh, allow me to resign all my, all, the, all my actions and allow me to fix my body uh, allow me to fix my mind in the lotus root of Lord Adokshaj. Uh, please, uh, please allow me to fix my mind. And allow me to give up my body. Now remember, that this Parikshit was cursed to die from the bite of a snake bird. 
парик что махараджа его прокляли он должен был умереть от укуса змеи this was a curse такого было проклятие hmm? but here parikshit maharaj perfected his life before the destined time но здесь парикшит махарадж достиг полного совершенства жизни прежде времени которое ему было уготовано and on the strength of that that bhagavat which he heard he gave up his life and attained the supreme abode uh, lord supreme abode и благодаря тому совершенству которое он достиг в результате слушания бхагаватам он uh, оставил тело и отправился в высшую обитель takshak came takshak пришёл takshak came but takshak 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 was a, is a snake bird это змея Uh, it's, uh, pre- uh, he came. He came, and he burned the dead body of Maharaj Parikshit. Yes. Dead body because Maharaj Parikshit already attained this. He already left the body. And he came and burned the dead body. Такшака пришёл и он сжёг мёртвое тело. In India when somebody dies, then his the, the body is burned. И мы знаем, когда кто-то умирает, то тело сжигают. Mm-hmm. So when Maharaj Parikshit left his body, so this this snake bird came and he did did the funeral ceremony. Mm-hmm. И вот, когда uh, Maharaj Parikshit уже оставил тело, то эта летающая змея, она прилетела и So if someone might question did Maharaj Parikshit die of a bite of a snake bird the answer is no Maharaj Parikshit already attained the lord's abode И если кто-то спросит умер ли Maharaj Parikshit от от укуса змеи то ответ нет Maharaj Parikshit уже оставил тело и отправился в обитель Господа So all of us are destined to die on a certain day All of us We are, we are, mm, there is a time the date there is fixed day is fixed here it is written hmm? not everybody can read that but we are we are going to die on a fixed there is date is fixed это время уже предначертано не каждый может это видеть это видеть но нам суждено умереть в строго определённое время so everyone has to perfect his life before he dies и поэтому каждый должен Uh, достичь совершенства в жизни до смерти. How to perfect? И как же сделать жизнь совершенной? Janma karma chame divyam eyam yoveti taktvata tektva deham punarjanma nayati mamiti so arjuna. This is the answer. Hmm? Таков ответ. Krishna says, hmm? what is Krishna says? One who knows the transcendental nature of my appearance and activities hmm? does not upon <coughs> leaving his body take birth again in this material world. Krishna говорит тот, кто знает существенную природу моего явления и деяний, никогда больше не рождается в материальном мире. Покинув тело, он достигает моей вечной обители, о Арджуна. So we all have to make an effort. Итак, мы все должны предпринять усилия. To perfect our lives. Для того, чтобы сделать свою жизнь совершенной. How to do it? Как это сделать? How did Parikshit do? Так как Parikshit сделал. By hearing Bhagavatam. Читая Bhagavatam. So we can also do that simply by hearing Bhagavatam, reading Bhagavatam, speaking about it. We can perfect our life. И мы также можем это сделать, читая Бхагаватам, говоря о Бхагаватам, слушая Бхагаватам. Мы можем сделать свою жизнь совершенной. Даште праешо бхадрешо нитям Бхагавата севая Бхагвати уттама шлокер бхактир бхавати наистеки. Every day we chant. Hmm? Каждый день мы повторяем эту стихию. Simply, simply by hearing Shrimad Bhagavatam, all the contaminations in the heart will be completely removed. and one will become fixed up in the uh, in the lotus root of the lord просто благодаря слушанию бхагаватам все осквернения в сердце будут полностью уничтожены и человек полностью сосредоточится на лотос ступах one will develop pure unalloyed love for lord shri krishna и мы разобьём чистую неоскверненную любовь к господу кришне thank you very much hare krishna No questions? No questions? I'm asking. А, есть вопросы? А что значит постичь природу явления и деяний Кришны? 
what does it mean to understand uh, the nature of uh, Krishna's uh, activities? <coughs> Yes, understanding Krishna means understanding his, how he is Bhaktavatsal, hmm? how he is uh, very, very dear to the devotees, how he protects them, how he loves them, his various pastimes hmm? he performs. So, what Krishna wants from us? His various, activities. His various activities. Understanding what Krishna wants from us. Krishna wants us that we should develop a relationship with him. So there are four ways. Dasya, Sakya, Vatsalya, Madhurya. So there are four ways one can develop a relationship with him. So Krishna wants that we should establish our relationship with him. Hmm. How to do that? We have to follow Mahajanas. Hmm. And there are so many uh, different uh, life and activities of so many devotees in the Bhagavatam, Chaitanya Charitamrit. So simply hmm, by hearing from them, by hearing again and again about it, we will will gradually become like them. There was a discussion, very funny discussion in OMS. Hmm? Question came, what is the application of Bhagavatam? How to apply Bhagavatam? Hmm. The application of Bhagavatam is simply hearing. Srimata Bhagavate Mahamuni Krute Kim Vapare Rishvara Sadyur Dayavarudyatra Krutibi Susru Shubhistakshanat. As soon as one develops a desire to hear about Lord Krishna, hmm. he agrees to get bound up by that devotee in the heart. Simply by expressing the desire to hear Bhagavatam, hmm? Krishna agrees to get bound up by that devotee. Simply by when, when devotee expresses desire, so what about when he hears it, then Krishna will be established in the heart. So, so we can understand Krishna by hearing. So more and more we hear, more and more clarity will come about Krishna and his activities, his pastimes, his nature, his mood, what he wants, everything will be revealed when we hear more and more about him. If suppose we fall sick, we go to the doctor, then doctor uses medicines. Our ex, medicines he gives, take this. And, and we say, only taking, by taking medicine, I'll be okay. He said, yes, just take for next seven days and morning, afternoon, evening, take this seven days, you will be fine. No, no, I want to, how should I get rid of the disease? Tell me this. Doctor is saying, just take this medicine, you will be fine. Similarly, simply hear Bhagavatam, you will be fine. But what did Parikshit do? Simply heard Bhagavatam, perfected his life. So the application of Bhagavatam is simply by hearing, hearing, reading, speaking about it. I hope you, you got the point of Doctor and Bhagavatam. 
doctoram ee bhagavad simply by taking taking the medicines gradually gradually hmm, will become we become will be all right просто когда мы принимаем лекарства постепенно мы выздоровеем same is with bhagavatam то же самое с bhagavatam simply by giving oral reception to bhagavatam but we have to hear from a person whose life is bhagavatam просто устно слушая бхагаватам но мы должны слушать от человека чья жизнь является бхагаватом that is also very very important это также очень очень важно any other questions I don't know why it, why has why Veda Vyas written that, but in Bhagavatam it's also Veda Vyas's compilation where he has given the corrected version. Yeah, I don't know why it's written that, but in Bhagavatam it's also Veda Vyas's compilation where he has given the corrected version. Yeah, I don't know why it's written that, but in Bhagavatam it's also Veda Vyas's compilation where he has given the corrected version. Yeah, I don't know why it's written that, but in Bhagavatam it's also Veda Vyas's compilation where he has given the corrected version. Yeah, I don't know why it's written that, but in Bhagavatam it's also Veda Vyas's compilation where he has given the corrected version. Yeah, I don't know why it's written that, but in Bhagavatam it's also Veda Vyas's compilation where he has given the corrected version. Yeah, I don't know why it's written that, but in Bhagavatam it's also Veda Vyas's compilation where he has given the corrected version. Yeah, I don't know why it's written that, but in Bhagavatam it's also Veda Vyas's compilation where he has given the corrected version. Yeah, I don't know why it's written that, but in Bhagavatam it's also Veda Vyas's compil First canto fifth chapter. Hmm. Narada is first canto fifth chapter. Narada is chastising. He said to him that words hmm, which glorify the supreme Lord activities and pastimes. Hmm, those words even though they are not properly compiled but those words are glorious и нарада муни сказал ему что слова прославляющие величие и деяния верховного господа даже если они составлены несовершенным образом именно их тем не менее стоит слушать and the literature which you have compiled the literature which you have compiled paramhamsas won't enjoy that та литература, которую ты составил ранее, парамахамсы не будут наслаждаться ей. Because it does not clearly describes the glories of devotional service. Потому что она не описывает ясным образом ценности преданного служения. It does not clearly describe the Lord's activities, forms, and pastimes. Она не описывает должным образом славу преданного служения, игры и деяния верховного Господа. You have put karma kand, jnana kand, and so many kands, and also bhakti also. So you mixed them together, kichar made kichari, and gave it in the form of Mahabharat. Ты взял Гьяна, Гьяна Канду, Гьяна Йогу, Карма Йогу, Бхакти Йогу, все вместе. Not Yoga. Karma Kanda. Karma Kanda. Different between Karma Kanda and Yoga. Yoga. Karma Kanda. Bhakti. Karma Kanda, Gyana Kanda, and Bhakti. Karma Kanda, Gyana Kanda, and Bhakti. Ты сделал такое кичари, выдал это все, смешался и выдал это все в виде Махабхараты. So how will people understand? If you give up Bhagavad Gita, the, everything else is a big kichadi. And in Bhagavad Gita also the sixth chapter only talks about pure devotional service. We are understanding Bhagavad Gita because of this person. If you, if if Bhagavad Gita was just a part of Mahabharata and whole Mahabharata was brought brought to us, it could have been a big confusing thing. It will create a big confusion. Mm -hmm. That's why Veda has chastised him. Yeah, yes, sorry, Narad Muni chastised Veda Vyas. And told him compile a literature, which is which has only hmm, about talks about only about devotional service. И дал ему наставление составить произведение, которое будет повествовать только о чистом преданном служении. That's why Vedavyas wrote 
धर्मापरोजित कैतवत्र परमो निर्मत्सरा नाम सताम दिस दिस लिटरेचर विच आई एम कंपाइलिंग इज माई फाइनल वर्क एंड इट डजेंट हैव एनी कर्मकांड एनी ज्ञान कांड इट ओनली टॉक्स अबाउट प्योर डिवोशनल सर्विस И поэтому Ведряса составил Мадбхагавата, то повествование, которое не имеет никаких примесей гьяна канды, карма канды и рассказывает только о чистом преданном служении. Immediately writes in the second verse itself he writes, ki, this is, I, have, I am sorry actually, I have compiled a big, big uh, mess, but now I am clearing up. This is, this is the literature one has to refer. И уже во втором стихе сразу же он говорит, простите, я до этого составил It is the last work of Vedavyas. And it was done in his maturity because it was done under the direction of Narad Muni. Okay. First. Спасибо большое. Подскажите, в каком настроении нужно слушать Шримад Бхагаватам? Please tell what is the proper mood for hearing Shrimad Bhagavatam. If if someone says that I understood Bhagavatam, he will never he will he has never understood Bhagavatam. The mood is that completely depend on the mercy of the Lord, our spiritual master, our previous acharyas and the Bhagavatam in himself. Complete dependency. Complete dependency. And request them that please reveal this Bhagavatam to me. И молитесь с такой просьбой, что, пожалуйста, откройте этот Бхагаватам мне. If you say that I know Bhagavatam, I have Bhakti Vaibhav, I have Bhakti Vedant, Bhakti Sadachar, I know Bhagavatam. You don't teach me. И если у нас есть такое настроение, я прошел уже Бхакти Веданту, Бхакти Вайбхаву, Бхакти Сарабхама. Бхакти Сарабхама. Я уже все знаю, не учите меня. I know Bhagavatam. He, he doesn't know anything about Bhagavatam. Такой человек ничего не знает о Бхагаватам. Бхагаватам is only understood if if we have a mercy of great sadhus. Бхагаватам можно понять лишь если мы приобрели милость великих садов. If we have mercy of the Bhagavatam itself. Если мы получили милость из самого Бхагаватам. Our mood should be should be very humbly begging for the mercy of Shri Mata Bhagavatam. and requesting our gurujanas to help us reveal this bhagavatam to us then gradually gradually by their mercy we will be able to release understand bhagavatam it was a buzzer so Love will increase. Love for Krishna will increase. Love. Love for Krishna will increase. Hmm. We'll develop unflinching faith. Doubts will be cleared. We should also inquire questions. We should ask, and we should, the doubts will. Three things happen. When one takes shelter of Bhagavatam. Karma is slackened. Karma restores. Uh, doubts are removed. And pure love for Krishna is attained gradually. Hmm. These three things happened. What is it? Discuss 
we have a i am here for a giving you a program for studying bhagavatam um, i'm tra i'm travel i travel worldwide because to open bhagavatam schools i have a study we have a study program where you can ha- in your house i was discussing with prabhu so we have a uh, <coughs> so this program where you can in your cong- small congregation you can uh, s- study bhagavatam very s- in a very simple and easy way Yes, in a very easy way. We have various ways of studying Bhagavatam. And all these are available for free of cost. Free of cost, they are available for free. Yes. So, before leaving I will provide, provide you. I am also working with your Ministry of Education to bring all these courses in Russian language. Anything else? Is it for adults or for children? Children? <laughs> This small? Yeah, there is one uh, there is we have two programs one is bhagavat vidyalaya which is a systematic study of each chapter of bhagavatam and then we have uh, a one, one program is bhagavat vidyalaya which is a systematic study of each Adna chapter of bhag- bhagavat vidyalaya bhagavat vidyalaya yes bhagavat vidyalaya это систематическое изучение бхагаватам глава за главой then there is a bhagavat charcha yes bhagavat charcha which is a 64 weeks program это charcha means discussion Charcha means discussion. Charcha означает обсуждение. Discussion about Bhagavatam. Обсуждение о Бхагаватам. We do so many discussion in our lives every day. У нас в жизни столько обсуждений. Mm. What is he doing? What is he doing? What is she doing? What, what is... Он делает, что она делает, что он делает. Mm. So there is, here is our program. Discuss about Bhagavatam. Но вот эта программа обсуждения Бхагаватам. That's why Bhagavat Charcha. It's a Sanskrit word. Это санскритское слово. So that program can be... Bhagavat Charcha can be also done for the kids. Bhagavad Charcha можно также давать детям. Yes. Uh, three years. <laughs> no, in the womb also. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the mother can read and the child can benefit. Даже в очереди можно, мама может читать. No, not that small. Не для таких маленьких. At least he should be, he should at least seven, eight years, something like that for them. Хотя бы шесть. Yeah. Actually, it is a true fact. If, if uh, some Matajis, they are carrying babies, then they should read Bhagavatam throughout the nine months. Because uh, if you want your, your, your boy or girl should become a devotee, hmm, then, then the samskar should start right from the womb itself. The effort should be started right from the uh, beginning. So mother should uh, read, the, read the Bhagavatam in that whole nine months. Two hours, three hours, four hours every day. Yes. Then the, then the child who is born, mm-hmm. the child when he borns, he'll, he'll be like a great devotee of the Lord. Without a doubt, he'll be a lover of Bhagavatam. And he'll have natural faith for sure the Bhagavatam, Krishna and devotees. Just by doing that nine months, if, the, if that mother takes an effort to read the Bhagavatam every day for some hours, then the result will be awesome.